here for me? <laughs> Mother. Are you excited for the dance? Oh, it's gonna be so awesome. I know. So we're here at the eight. Okay. Yeah, we'll never pull up. The driver's awesome. My dad knows it. It's me and Stacy are getting ready at my house. I already have my dress picture. We're gonna look. <laughs> hey! Why do all the guys have the hot for just Maitland? If you let all the guys do whatever they wanted, they'd be all over you, too. Okay, we better go. Don't want to be late for Ramirez. Actually, I was thinking of bailing. Wait, Jade, seriously? You can't skip again. I know, but I didn't study for the test. I'm gonna fail anyway. Come on. I'll let you copy off mine. Again. <laughs> Eyes on your own papers? Was I not clear? Or do I need to fail all of you? Sorry. My bad. You must be Ashley, my newest victim. Come in, grab a test, find a seat. I hope Spanish was part of your last school's curriculum. Siento muy buen garzada en la lengua española. Finally, somebody who pays attention. Maybe we should see if she wants to hang out tonight. Yeah? Oh. Hey, Dad. Hey. Hi, Mr. Johnson. Hey, Sarah. I'm going to be staying at Minnie's for a couple days. Should be some leftovers in the fridge. Yeah, okay. See you Monday. Stay out of trouble, you two. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Who's Mindy? I don't know. I've lost track. Come on. Hey. I like your kicks. Aren't they hot? I just got them. So are you new in town? No. I live on the other side of the freeway. Transferred out of Lexington High. Principal's a real dick. Well, what do you think of this place? Depends. What's going on this weekend? Actually, we were going to go to a party tonight. You want to come? We could pick you up. Cool. I'm at 18 via Carlina. Great. We'll see you at 7. Was school. I'm the same. So, Mom, can Jade stay for dinner tonight? Oh, yeah, sure. Just make sure you ask your dad, okay? He's actually taken off for a couple days. Okay, then I guess you better plan on staying the night. Okay. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> I'm telling you, you should just ask him to dance. If I go with Clay, what are you going to do? I don't need to go. Are you serious? I'm not going without you. Okay, how about this? We only go if we both have dates. And if not, then we go together. Deal? Deal. <laughs> hey. 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 Look what I got. Wine? Where'd you get that? My mom. Hey, girls. Where are you all off to tonight? Oh, just a house party. Oh, that sounds like fun. Well, you all wanna come in, hang out? 
No, Mom, we don't want to hang out with you. <sighs> She's so annoying. Hi. Hey. How was work? Uh, the same. You sound like Sarah. Where is she? Oh, she's out with Jade. So, Houston called. There's three days left on their offer. I thought we'd made a decision about that. No, you did. Paul, it, it's just not the right time to move. I mean, Sarah ran away when they offered you that job in San Diego last year. Yeah, and I turned it down. And we'd have to relocate to Texas. Yeah. Can't we just wait until Sarah graduates? It's only my career. Did you get the project done for Ramirez's class? Why is it due? Yeah, like today. Hey, Jade. Oh, hey, Owen. I was just wondering, uh, you going to the dance with anyone? No. Cool. So, you maybe want to go with me? Yeah, sure. Great. Uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> OK. <laughs> What'd I miss? Okay, just got asked to dance. Really? Yeah. By who? Owen Mason. <laughs> Come on, we better get to class. Actually, um, what? I don't think I'm gonna go. You're not skipping again. Well, I didn't do the assignment. Neither did I. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, okay. I'll see you later. Hey, well, I'm not covering for both of you. Hey, Annie, it's me. Hey. Hi, uh, I just got a little break. You want to grab some lunch or something? Uh, sorry, I can't. I got some stupid board meeting to go to. Okay, um, well, then we'll just see you at home. Okay, I'll see you at home later. Love you. To be honest, I think you can do a lot better than Owen. I mean, I'm sure Sarah still do that too, right? No. She wanted me to say yes. I'm surprised. She's your best friend. I mean, you think she'd want to see you do better. Who knows? Maybe she likes it that way. Hey. We got lucky. We had a substitute. So what are you guys doing? thinking about going to Ashley's. Do you want to come? Sure. 
meet you guys there. So your mom just lets you drink in the house? Here. I'm cool, thanks. Hey, girls. Tap me off, will ya? <laughs> Get your own, Mom. It's nice to meet you. I'm Mrs. Trollman. Oh, such lovely manners. So, will you be staying for uh, dinner? I could order some pizza or something. Actually, I have to get home for dinner. And, Jean, we should probably get going. Oh, um, I think I'm gonna stay. I mean, my dad's not home, and I put your parents out so much anyway. They don't mind. But, yeah, that's, that's cool. Uh, text me later. Where's Jade? Did she go home? Um, no, she's staying at Ashley's. Is that the girl I saw her with this morning? Um, you don't need to cover for her. So who is this Ashley? She's just the new girl who transferred to our school. She lives on Via Kalinas. And she's skipping school already? Yeah, well, I doubt her mom cares. What do you mean? Nothing. I'm gonna go do my homework. Sarah. Yep. Uh, there's something I, I've been wanting to tell you. It's about your dad. He got an offer in Texas. I know what you're going to say, and I just want you to know that we're not going to move unless we all agree. Well, I don't agree. It, it would mean a lot more money, and we could send you to a really great school. I told you, I'm not leaving Jade. Well, it would mean so much to your dad. Are we done? You should try this on. Oh, cute. You know, I was serious about what I said earlier. You don't really want to go to the dance with that Owen guy, do you? No, not really. There's a better mirror in the bathroom. Oh, okay, cool. I'll be right back. What do you think? Gorgeous. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Where were you last night? I slept over ashes. Well, I called. Really? I must have missed it. It's so weird. So are you still going to Trevor's party tonight? Uh, yeah, I guess. Hey, Sarah. Oh, my God. Don't you just love this top on Jade? It's my favorite, but it looks so much better on her. Buenos dias, chicos y chicas. I'm sure you're all excited to learn this morning, so let's get going and open your text to page 30. We'll begin with chapter... I don't know. Ms. Trollman, is the honeymoon over so soon? Why don't you take a seat over there? Oh, and Miss Thompson, just so you're aware, having a substitute doesn't let you off the hook. I've taken up your recent absence with the principal. One more slip, and you'll find yourself suspended. Let's begin, shall we? Look. 
You need to go to the bank. You sound like your father. Hey, you are not going out with your boobs hanging out like that, are you? Why? Do you want me to dress in sales rack specials like you? I mean, my God, look at you. You look like you've been dressed with a church donation bin. Yeah. Well, your father would say you look cheap. Oh! Dad would never talk to me like that. Tell him that you're not gonna go with him anymore? It's so mean. Maybe if you hadn't pressured me into saying yes. Hey, what's going on? Jade's not going to the dance with Owen. Oh, thank God that Owen was such a loser. Oh, by the way, I talked to Clay and he said that he's totally into hooking up with you. You told her? How could you do that? No, I, I didn't. She didn't. I, I guessed, all right? I mean, come on. It's totally obvious. But it's cool. Trust me, he's so into you. You sure? Of course. Well, why wouldn't he be? But still, I mean, I can't ask him to the dance. Remember? We go together or we go with dates. And now that you're not going with Owen, I Oh, can't... don't worry. Jay and I'll go together. Yeah. So that's fine. Just ask him. Hey, sir. Hey. Do you want to take a walk or something? Um... Some fun. Thank you. Sweetie. So So, is it true? What? That you like me. Who told you that? Everybody. It's cool. I just wish I would have known sooner. Okay, so where are we going? Mr. Ramirez's house. Mr. Ramirez, the Spanish teacher? What for? You'll see. What about Sarah? She'll be fine. Besides, we don't want a third wheel, do we? Stop it. Hey, I thought you were cool with it. Why would you think that? Because your new friend just told me. But Ashley said that I would sleep with you? Is, is that why I'm here? That's why I'm here. pay these teachers too much. <laughs> okay. This is for ratting you out to the principal. And that is for separating us. you call me if they show up there? Sure. Okay. Thanks, Brent. What'd he say? He hasn't seen them. He has no idea where they are. Well, I wouldn't worry. She's probably just lost track of time. That's what we said the night she ran away. <sighs> yeah, but she's got no reason to do that now. She doesn't even know about the Texas offer. She knows. I told her. 
I told her we should think about it. You did? Mm -hmm. What'd she say? Sorry. That's just great. You know what? My parents moved when I was 10, too, and I didn't like it much, but guess what? I survived. <clears throat> Sarah, wh where have you been? Relax, Mom. God. It's almost two hours past your curfew. You know how upset your mother's been? Well, obviously not you. Sarah. Your father's right. And as far as we're both concerned, you're grounded. Whatever. You know you scared me. And I had no idea where you were. I told you, I'm not gonna run away again. Okay. But you're still grounded. What about Dad? How long is he going to hold a grudge for? Sarah. Hey. Oh, hey, Jane. I hope you don't mind I invited Ashley. No, uh, no, of course we don't mind. It's nice to meet you, Ashley. So, uh, how are you liking your new school? Couldn't be happier. Great. So, my dad just told me we're moving. What do you mean? Where? To his girlfriend's, over at his job, at the refinery. Well, when do you have to move out? The end of the month, but I don't want to go. Well, don't, just stay here with us, right, Mom? Actually, Jay's gonna be staying at my place. Well, Jay, do you, you know you're always more than welcome to stay with us as much as you'd like. So I should get a fourth, right? So what do you girls want to drink? Let's see, I've got uh, milk, water, juice. Yeah, that's just about it. Where's Ashley? In the bathroom. So why are you staying with her? I mean, have you seen her plays? It's kind of a pigsty. You're really gonna be comfortable there? Well, not everyone can afford a cleaning lady like you guys. Whatever, but I just thought you'd want to stay here with me. It's kind of what we always talked about. You know, living together. Besides, Ashley's not all bad. I mean, look at the way she dresses. <laughs> you mean to judge her on the way she dresses? Yeah, but it's not just that. I mean, who lets their kid drink in their own house? I mean, don't you think it's messed up? I'm guessing she'll probably end up just like her mom. You're just pissed because I'm not staying here. Fine, I am. Ever since you've been hanging out with Ashley, you don't care about our friendship anymore. You left me alone last night. I already said I was sorry. I know, but you would have never have done that if it weren't for her. I'm telling you, she's bad news. Who's bad news? Nobody. Come on. Mrs. Cowan, we're gonna head out. Oh, wh where are you going? I heard Bobby's throwing another party tonight. Sarah, are you coming? Uh, Sarah's grounded, and it is a school night. Maybe, Jade, you should stay in too? I think Jade needs to let off some steam, especially considering the news she just got. Does your father know you're going out? You know he doesn't care. I know what that's like. Thanks for dinner, Mrs. Cowan. Yeah, thanks. Bye, Sarah.
so <laughs> <laughs> then don't. I'll just get my mom to write a note for you. Seriously? Yeah, if I told her to, sure. Your mom is so cool. Sarah's mom would never do that. You're so uptight. I, I know. Did you see the way that Sarah tried to get you to stay? I mean, just because she's grounded, why should you suffer? <laughs> oh, I know. It's so lame. <laughs> you know she holds you back. It's like she expects you're always going to be there for her when she needs you. But what about you? You know? Your life. No, I know. It's like it's all about her. She doesn't even care. Exactly. Now that you're being your own person, she's just being all needy on you. Who needs that? I mean, you don't want to be stuck in her shadow forever, do you? No. I mean, God, if you're that weak, someone should just put you out of your misery. <laughs> Seriously. No. I am serious. She drags you down. She drags us down. We should just get rid of her. I mean, I guess we could just ignore her. No, she's too much of a leech for that. We have to get rid of her more permanently. How? Don't worry. Leave it to me. Jade. She wasn't feeling well. Of course she wasn't. Listen, she's really upset. You know, this whole thing with her dad and moving. She really needs you. I mean, you're like her best friend, right? Look, I know that you think I told Clay that you'd sleep with him, but all I said was that you were into him. He must have taken it that way. Why don't you come out with us tonight? I know Jade would love that. I can't. I'm grounded, remember? You can sneak out. I'm sure you've done that before. Just come out with us, just for a little bit. Jade really misses you. Did she say that? Of course. I mean, you're like a sister to her. Just say you'll come. Fine. I'll see if my mom will let me. Cool. Well, in case you have to sneak out, we'll meet you at the end of the street. Eight o'clock? I'm really sorry about the way that I talked to you and Dad. I just had a bad night. Anything you want to talk about? Just boy stuff. I understand. Great, because I was hoping I could go out tonight. I didn't mean you were off the hook. You're still grounded. It's not fair. Everyone else is going out tonight. You're still grounded. That's final. God, Mom, you so don't understand. She probably chickened out, as usual. I mean, why are we even hanging out with her? I thought we were ditching her. We are. We just have to make sure she won't ever tag along again. So what? You make her hate us? Even better. Hey, where are you? I'm coming. Wait for me. Hey. She's coming. It's 
So where are we going? Ashley knows about this rave downtown. Are we going to be able to get in? Trust me. It's all good. I trust you. Let's just leave. Hey! Give me my phone! Ashley, what the hell is wrong with you? Give it back! Give it back! Wipe it off. Go back to sleep, Mom. Here, drink this. It'll make you feel better. I don't want that. I didn't want any of this. Well, it's too late. You're already in it. I didn't do anything. I didn't do it. Really? Uh, yes, you did. You called Sarah, you told her to come, you drove her to the warehouse. I didn't do this all by myself. Here. What are you doing? Tying up loose ends. We're both in this together.
Where are we going? Trust me. I trust you. Why are we going here? Give it back. Give it back. Sarah? Honey, are you awake? Sarah? Paul? Paul? Yeah? She's gone. What? Sarah, she's gone. Damn it, I knew I shouldn't have been so hard on her. Just calm down, OK? I mean, her car's still here. Maybe she got a ride someplace with Jade. Oh, I don't know. She's probably afraid to come home and get in trouble again. Why don't we just give her a call? Okay. Where are you going? She's just gonna go home. Why? To pack. Gotta get my stuff out by the end of the week. Cool, well, you can just stay here. It's Sarah's mom. <sighs> Go ahead, answer it. No, I don't want to answer it. Do it. You're going to have to talk to her sooner or later. You know what to say. Hello? Jade? Hi, this is Lana. Hi, Mrs. Cowan. Hi, honey. Um, have you seen Sarah? Did you guys get together last night? No. I haven't seen her since yesterday at school. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Um, well, did she call you last night? Yeah. And what did she say? Nothing, just that she was bummed that she was grounded. Are you sure that's all she said? Yeah. Okay, um... Well, could you please call me if you hear from her? And, uh, and tell her to come home. I won't be mad. Okay, I will. Okay. Thanks, Jane. Cool. Let's go get breakfast. <laughs> She claims she hasn't seen her. And what, you think she's lying? I don't know. Do you think I should call Brent? No, let's go to the police. Mm. Morning. Proud of cereal. And everything else. Maybe you could pull it together and go to the grocery store? Sure. So, how was your night? Where'd you girls go? Oh, nowhere. But I thought I saw you come in. You must be confused. As usual. I gotta go. Why? I'll just talk to you later. Has your daughter ever done this kind of thing before? <laughs> she ran away just once. But it was different. Yeah, it was. This is really unlike Sarah. All right, well, well, first thing we'll do is enter her name in the missing person's database, and then we'll put a trace on her cell phone. How long will that take? Not long. I'm sure wherever we locate her phone, we'll find your daughter, safe and sound. OK, so I'm going to go talk to Jade face to face. OK, I'll go with you. Oh, no, you should stay here in case she comes home. Calls. Anna, don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. Um, Dad? Yeah? Is there room for my stuff over at Mindy's yet? 
Could I bring it by tonight? I told you I gotta clean out that spare bedroom. It's gonna take a couple days. What's the matter? Nothing. What happened to Sarah? What do you mean? I thought you can stay with her. I was, um, she changed her mind. Drop a key off tomorrow. You can be all right here, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, all right? Yeah. Okay. Bye. All right. Why'd you run off like that? I just had some stuff to take care of. What? Just stuff. Look, I know that you're upset, but you gotta chill out, all right? No one's gonna find out. We covered our tracks. It's just you and me now. Like we said. Look at me. I love you. It's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Jade, it's Lana. Hi, Mrs. Cowan. Hello, Mrs. C. Hi, Ashley. I mean, have you heard from her? No. Me neither. Are, are you sure you didn't see her last night? Yeah. Yeah. Because the last time she disappeared, she spent the night over here. But she didn't do that this time. She didn't come here last night. And she didn't mention anything about wanting to leave home? N nothing at all? No. Jade, you have to tell me the truth. I know something is up here. She said she was running away. What? She was really upset about being grounded. I mean, we told her not to worry about it, that it was just one more weekend, but... Oh, she wouldn't listen. Did she call you, too? She called Jade at my place, and I heard her on the speaker. Why didn't you tell me about this before? She asked me not to. Jade, do you realize how serious this is? Where did she say she was going? She didn't. Just that she was going to hit the road and try to catch a ride or something. Is this true? Are you telling me everything? Because I've reported her missing to the police. She said that she was gonna run away from home and I, I haven't heard from her since. If you want, we could set something up online to help find her. I mean, I'm sure somebody knows where she is. Yeah, that'd be nice. And I'm sure the police will wanna talk to both of you. Fine, yeah. We'd be more than happy to help. I'll be in touch. See? Easy. And what about the police? Don't worry about it, okay? Just stick to the story and play it cool. Got it? Uh, okay. We'll talk to them in the morning. Okay. And then we'll call you. All right, thanks. We'll, uh, we'll let you know if, uh, we hear from her. Was that the police? <sighs> Did they find her phone? They found it. Where? In the cab of a transport truck. Oh my God! 
Paul. Sarah wasn't there. Oh, God, Paul. Lana, it doesn't mean anything except that it looks like she ran away. They're gonna call the driver in for questioning tomorrow. Tomorrow? Well, he's up at the Oregon line. It's the earliest they could get him here. It does fit with what Ashley said. Ashley? Yeah, she was over at Jade's. They both admitted that Sarah had called them and said she was running away and she was planning to hitchhike. Well, then we have to tell that to the police. I don't believe those girls. I mean, Jade couldn't even look me in the eye. She probably knows where Sarah is. She's probably sworn to secrecy. No, she couldn't talk to me, Paul. This girl, Ashley, she was telling me everything about Sarah, like, like she was trying to convince me or something. <laughs> in their minds, they're probably looking out for her. You know how these girls are. No. No, it was different. Why won't you come stay with me? I told you, I just want to be alone. Why? Just because. Jade, I need you. Don't turn your back on me. You're not. Good. you I didn't pick up any girl I understand but we're just trying to figure out how her phone ended up in your truck so please tell us exactly what you did at the Newhall stop I did what I always do I got a burger some fries talked to a couple of the fellas and then I got back out on the road so you didn't see anybody no you didn't see any teenagers no look if you try to pin this on me, hell you don't even have anything man just Go talk to Irene at the stop. She knows me. We will most certainly do that. In the meantime, I suggest you do not leave town. What do you mean you let him go? He claims he didn't see your daughter. Her cell phone was in his truck. It's possible somebody else put it there. Why would someone do that? To throw us off the trail. What trail? In the event that something happened to your daughter, the person responsible may be trying to frame oh, this man. Gosh. But you don't know that. No, we don't. Uh, th this trucker, he could be lying. He could have picked her up and dropped her off anywhere. She could still be out there. Yes, sir. And we are following up on every one of the stops he made to see if anyone saw Sarah. But you don't believe that happened, do you? Mrs. Cowan, we don't have any conclusions yet. We're still trying to gather the facts. Then when are you going to talk to her friends, Jade and Ashley? very soon. Please, if you think of anything else, give us a call.
We're gonna be working around the clock on this. I promise you, we are not giving up until we find your daughter. Detective Gaines, what are the chances, I mean, in your experience, that you'll find her alive? Well, every case is different. I know that, damn it. Just tell me the truth. No, I want to hear the truth. Mrs. Cowan, I feel like we're gonna find her. So let's just try and stay positive, okay? Thank you for your time. We'll be in touch tomorrow. They think she's dead. They didn't say that. Yes, they did. I've been calling you all day. I've had my phone off. I've been busy. Busy with what? Cleaning. I really want to see you. Well, it's late. And I'm tired. Wish you were here. I'll see you at school tomorrow, right? I don't know. Jade? You have to go. If you don't, it'll look bad. Yeah. All right. Good. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Missed you last night. I told you I was tired. Yeah, I know. I'm not letting you off the hook tonight. You're so bad. Good morning, everyone. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Whatever. Miss Thompson? Where's your sidekick today? What, no excuses lined up for your best friend? May I help you? Jade, Ashley, go with the principal to the office, please. So you say she told you she was running away? Yeah. Was she upset? Totally. I mean, she thought her parents were being real jerks for grounding her. Mm. How long have you known Sarah? Since the sixth grade. Uh, sounds like a pretty good friend. Not really. I, I don't know her that well. But what I do know is that she was having some problems at home, like with her dad and stuff. So he really thinks she ran away. Jade. I, I, I don't know. Um, sorry, I'm not feeling well. So you don't believe she did? For sure she did. I mean, she did it before, right? What did you say? Nothing. Well, you better have said you talked to Sarah, did you? Yes, all right, I said everything I was supposed to. Now, leave me alone. What? You heard me. What's wrong with you? I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Don't you walk away from me, Jay! Hey, can I help you? 
help you? Hi, I'm Lana Cowan. Sarah's mom. Tina Trailman. Uh, would you have a minute to talk? Uh, yeah, sure. Come on in. Thanks. Um, I, I don't know if Ashley told you, but um, Sarah is missing. Missing? Yeah, she never came home Saturday night. I had no idea. Have you called the police? Yes, I have. They've put homicide on it. I'm so sorry. If there's anything I can do... Well, maybe you could tell me where Ashley was Saturday night. Ashley? What does Ashley have to do with this? She said Sarah called Jade while they were here and told them she was running away. I, I just find it hard to believe that Jade wouldn't tell me that. I mean, Sarah and Jade are best friends. I just thought maybe if I knew all three of them went out, that I would have a clear picture of what happened. Did Ashley and Jade go out Saturday night? Go back to sleep, Mom. Tina. I'm sorry. What was that? Did the girls go out Saturday night? No, we didn't. Hi, Ashley. Ashley, you never told me your friend Sarah was missing. You mean ran away? I didn't think it was a big deal. She did it before, right? So, uh, why do you want to know where I was Saturday night? Are you, like, interrogating my mother or something? I'm just trying to get all the facts so I can understand what happened. Well, uh, to answer your question, I didn't go out Saturday night. I know Jade did, though, to go out and meet Sarah. Yeah, she said she wanted to talk to her, you know, about the whole running away thing. But I know that she came back here later. My mom saw her come in. Right, Mother? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Why didn't Jade tell me that? I don't know. I guess she swore not to say anything. Nice to meet you. Oh, Mrs. Cowan? Yes. Do me a favor. Don't come back to my house again. she is. Where is she? Jade, where is she? Jade, what are you doing here? What's going on? She knows where Sarah is. Oh. You do? Jade, talk to me. Where's Sarah? Okay. Where's Sarah? Ashley killed her. You're lying. She's in a warehouse downtown 30 minutes from here. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. All right, get in the car. Get in the car. Lana, call the police.
and she's been charged with Sarah's murder. So what do we do now? We'll be sending search teams to both Jade and Ashley's homes. In the meantime, we'll be bringing Ashley in for questioning. Jade isn't lying. It was Ashley. I know it was. Where is she? Where's Jade? You son of a bitch. Paul. Now you're the concerned Paul. father? Don't Where the hell was he when your daughter Paul. was out killing mine? Hey, my Sarah was out there for two days Come alone, on. and your daughter said nothing. Nothing! Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, calm down. What? I don't think it would be very fair to your wife to get charged with assault. Not now. Come on. Detective Patty Gaines, I have a warrant to search your house, and I need to take your daughter in for questioning. What? Make sure you bring me any photos, any journals, anything that puts the two girls together, okay? Detective. Yeah. We found this hidden behind a desk in the back bedroom. For Jade, and then she. Mm. It's not Jade. It's Ashley. So now you tell us Jade went out with Sarah. Why didn't you tell us this before? Jade asked me not to say anything. She was afraid of getting in trouble. You know, with Sarah's mom. I just didn't want to butt in. I mean, Jade was Sarah's friend. Can you think of any reason why Jade would want to hurt Sarah? If they're such good friends? I don't know. I mean, Jade was upset because of her dad and everything. She did tell me that Sarah always thought that she was better than her. Seriously, I wish I'd never even transferred to that school. How do we know that you didn't go with Jade to meet up with Sarah? Well, you can ask my mom. I was home all night. Can anybody else verify that? No, but my mom wouldn't lie. Well, I think that's enough questions. Can I go home now? No, I'm afraid we're gonna have to keep you here overnight. Why? Your attorney will explain everything. Let's go, Ashley. Well. Oh, 
sure is something off about that kid. Okay. All right, thanks. Um, let us know what else you can find. That was Detective Gaines. The evidence came back. They found the knife. The blood was Sarah's. I knew it. I knew it was Ashley. You should see that girl, Paul. She Lana, they found the knife at Jade's, not Ashley's. That's not possible. They also found Sarah's blood in Jade's car. Well, what about Ashley's house? Did they look there? They found nothing. Miss Trollman, over here, Miss Trollman. Did you know Sarah Cowan? Ashley, you why do you think your friend would want to murder Sarah Cowan? I don't know. I mean, I can't imagine how anyone would do something like that, especially to their best friend. How do you know she did it? She's the night of the murder. Paul. Yeah. Come here. This morning, after a judge declared there was no physical evidence connecting her to the crime, They let Ashley go. Public defender that she believes the other suspect is solely responsible for the murder of 17-year-old high school student Sarah Cowan. The unidentified teenage suspect is currently being held at the women's detention facility in downtown Los Angeles. So, what did you tell them? What you told me, but you were here and Jade went out. Well, it seems you finally did something, right? What are you doing? Buying myself a new pair of shoes. The state of California has been rocked by the news of a local teen's arrest accused of murdering her best friend, 17-year-old Sarah Cowan. Initially presumed a runaway, the victim was found in a downtown warehouse stabbed to death Monday afternoon. Earlier today, the teen entered a plea of not guilty. I just want to know if it's true. What's true? That, uh, that you were involved with killing Sarah. Why? What have you heard? Just that Jade said that you did it, not her. What's it to you? Nothing. I just think it'd be kind of cool to go to the dance with someone who, uh, is all over the news. OK. I'll go. But just so you know, I'm not a suspect. Because I think this dance should have been canceled. Out of respect for your classmate. 
Maybe teach you kids some remorse? told you. Ashley was home that night. Actually, you didn't tell me. Ashley did. Well, <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. I want you to put yourself in my shoes. As a mother who just lost her daughter and is desperately trying to find out what happened. I know you said Sarah had good manners, but she was also warm and kind, and she loved her family. But if she ever hurt anyone, I would be the first person to step up and make sure she took responsibility, no matter how much it hurt me or Sarah. It's our job as mothers to make sure we raise good people, no matter how hard that is. Tina, I saw how Ashley treated you, and it's not gonna stop. And maybe you think you failed. But you only did if you don't tell the truth and stand up to her and be the mother she needs. curfew. There's nothing better to do. What's wrong with you? Hmm? I need a new pair of shoes. I, I thought you just bought some new shoes. I did. These are for a friend. What happened to the old ones? I saw you washing them. What happened? What do you care? I saw the blood. Was it Sarah's? What the hell are you doing? Telling the truth. I saw both you and Jade come home that night, not just Jade. You don't know what you saw. You were drunk. No, no, I know what I saw. And I'm not lying, not anymore. Look at you. You don't know anything. Sitting here, collecting your welfare checks, drinking your cheap wine. Who's gonna listen to you? Huh? No one. 
because you're not going to open that drunk mouth of yours to anyone. Got it? You're just like your father. Self-entitled son of a... I am your mother, Ashley, and I have had enough. You call yourself a mother? Look at you. You're pathetic. I should have put you out of your misery a long time ago. Like you did that poor girl? Yeah, that's right. You liked Sarah. Poor sweet Sarah. Such good manners she had. But oh, so weak. Stabbing someone to death hardly makes you strong. Shut up. It's over, Ashley. Because as soon as I tell the police the truth... It's not over. Because if you say anything... I swear... I'll kill you. Just like I killed that stupid bitch, Sarah. No, you won't. Because your mother's right. It's over, Ashley. You set me up? I heard every word. Yeah, well, it's your word against mine. No one's gonna believe you anyway. Get out of my house. I heard it too. You are under arrest for the murder of Sarah Cowan. Stand the rocks I have brought to you! Get off of me! Get off! Of me. Get off of me. 